Yesterday, before I quit, I ran out of battery power in the camera, so I proceeded to go to the passenger side of the front suspension and take off the steering knuckle. And in a way, I'm glad I did because what I found is that in the past, I've always done this job with the engine in the car. So I had weight on the springs. And I think that made it more difficult to do what I was going to do. Uh, and the other thing is I didn't take the support from underneath the lower control arm. And I think that had an impact in that the pressure of the spring was not pulling down on the uh, top ball joint connection as I was trying to uh, knock it out of there. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and I have jack stands under the frame, but I'm, I'm going to lower the support out from underneath the lower control arm and hopefully that will give me a little bit of pressure on the uh, from the spring on the upper ball joint connection there to help me when I knock it out. Oh. So it's now down on the uh, <clears throat> down on the jack stands the frame is and I'm going to proceed to start taking out the cotter pins from the ball joints okay <clears throat> we're all set to we've got the cotter pins out uh, the bottom ball joint bolt nut is a 7 eighths There's a three quarters. So there's no way to get the uh, no way to get the impact wrench in there. Okay, you notice that I'm removing the nuts all the way. Uh, reason is I want to make sure that this thing isn't going to bind up on me after the uh, knuckle is separated but I'm going to put them back on to catch it whenever it, it uh, comes down just a few threads not not tight because you have to have room for it to fall um, right now, if there's any available pressure from this spring, it should be uh, pushing down on the lower ball joint. So I'm going to start by beating on these uh, places. They almost look like they're made for, for hammering on um, to try and get the top one down. that one's down. Now what I'm going to do, I'm trying to simulate some weight on the uh, on the chassis by putting a couple of my tie down straps over top of the frame and hook them on, hooking them to the bottom of the lift. So I'm going to go set that up and then I'll put some pressure on the lower control arm with the bridge jack. 
Okay, that wasn't really that effective, but what I was after was trying to get some distance between that top knuckle and the bolt. So I want to have room for the weight of this thing when it separates to drop down so that I can see that it's separated because I think that might have been uh, part of my problem yesterday. Uh, so now the bottom bolt is, or the bottom connection there on the steering knuckles, what we're after. So I'm going to beat on that until the top, it drops, until that steering knuckle drops down. see it, it dropped down. So my steering knuckle is now loose. I'll just give a little close up of that. You can see the little space between the, uh, the rubber on the ball joint and the steering knuckle. So uh, the thing that's holding it up right now is that upper knuckle which you can see the bolt is is what it's resting on so all I need to do now is to take those bolts off and that steering knuckle will come right off I've already labeled these left and right did it yesterday right in there. So I'm going to put that on the shelf and then we'll proceed to disconnect the shock absorber and we'll lower the springs out.